Hello guys, Bluebeach here. So today I thought we'd check how my water block looks. I've been watching some YouTube videos among other things and forums and people say they haven't had uh, problems with corrosion in their blocks. I have here my main system CPU block and I have been using it for I think it's a good three years now. But I have never opened it. I have never opened it and checked it out to see how it is. And as you can see, it's a copper block. Kind of looks like gold here. But it it have been uh, really good keeping my system cool, or at least CPU. So we're gonna open it up and see how it looks actually inside. And the camera angle is kind of terrible, so I have to try as good as it gets. And I'm kind of curious myself. I've been using all kinds of um, uh, coolants, uh, coolant. All from uh, only distilled water in the beginning and uh, different kinds of mayhems, both pastel and uh, aurora. And I mainly have copper is the best best uh, metal to have in um, water cooling loops because it doesn't corrode as much but the problem is when you mix metals kind of like nickel plating and uh, also aluminium for example so yeah there are some people that have had massive problems with their water box and uh, I can give you some examples here. So as you can see, there were a lot of um, um, people that had problems with it. So let's open this uh, thing up for the first time. Here's the inside of the block. And oh yeah, it does look disgusting actually. And I would assume it doesn't look like it's rust actually. Looks more like it's, uh, uh, what do you call it? Like the particles from all the mayhem fluids. Is it yeah, I guess I have to clean this up and uh, check closer. So. I cleaned up the housing, but let's clean uh, or remove the O-rings. They're a bit dirty, yeah. By the way, this is the um, Raystorm block from... Um, oh man, XSPC. This one O ring. There's the holding for it. And let's take the other O ring. And before I. This loop, or the loop is not broken. It's my motherboard, if you haven't seen my other videos. So I'm waiting for that. So I thought, let, let's check some stuff, shall we? 
and maybe that was a good idea actually and I'm not sure if you can move this this plate oh it is loose you focus focus there you go so yeah you can see it's a lot of shit Oops. and you see a lot of red dye under it too I'm just using some regular hand towel papers to clean it up well the worst of it looks better already still a bit here and the block yeah, I think I need to clean that with oh look at that I could just put my finger on it and pull it off so it's not rust which is awesome but I'm still gonna use a toothbrush or something and under some hot water and clean this block off so I'll be right back and there we go so as you can see I've cleaned it And I used the regular a, a toothbrush and some regular water and cleaning agents. But yeah, it, and the block looks fine, actually. I have some here. The reason it's worse here is because of this metal. Um, and that's the problem when you mix metals. So if they had used, instead of this, a copper plate which would have been much better I wouldn't have these problems either but yeah the, the block has uh, stood strong against the water for three years uh, and the cooling agent so yeah you should definitely look up your block maybe once or twice a year no no not, not twice a year each year or uh, every two years I guess and especially if you noticed uh, increased temperature you have definitely got some uh, choking point somewhere but yeah this is uh, how, my, how my how my block looked and um, I hope this video was a bit informative for you guys and how important it is to check your loop, I guess. So, yeah. See you guys next time. So, for peace of mind, we're now in the bathroom. And I figured, why not clean this shit up? And using some steel wool. just to make it super clean for the next time should be abrasive enough to get that rust off or not rust really but corrosive corrosion And when it comes to copper, it's uh, usually always a clean metal in water cooling loops. So it's no problem doing this because you have open copper, it's not coated with anything. 
So clean copper is always good in general. And this will at least give me some peace of mind. And you can see a lot of shit is coming off. Do not do it on the back side by the way. It should be smoother. It's fine for the cooling area. So as you can see it's a lot cleaner already. This side is clean. Still got some. Just check so it's smooth around where the o-ring should be. Just to be sure. It's it's gonna be tight when uh, you have fluid in it and the o-ring seals good. So I guess it's okay to clean around that area as well, just to be safe. It's probably not needed, but... It feels really smooth now. So as you can see, Backside is still shiny, and uh, this side looks really awesome now. So yeah, I just wanted to add this in the video to show how how well you can.